going to a no AC call in Connecticut. She said the the lady said that the condenser's not working on the outside. We'll see what's going on when we get there. Guys, I'm here at a heat pump. It's like 2019, 10-19. It's R410A. Um, I went to the thermostat, put it to cooling. The condenser didn't start up. I had to play with the contactor. It's very pitted. I can't believe how new this thing is. You can see that. I got it to push it. I got it to stay in with my 24 volts. Um, it's in bed. I mean, it, it hasn't had any maintenance. So it was it was in, in heating when I got here. So I pulled out the, the reversing valve, the G, which is the fan, the O, which is the reversing valve, the R, and the Y, which is your condenser. And I jumped them with a wire nut and I'm getting cooling. I'm getting 9.6 degrees of superheat. Um, I don't like the temperature I feel though here. Um, I have 74. Oh, actually, hold on one second. I'm sorry. I got it on fucking R22. I was gonna say something's not right. So let me let this run a little while now and see what I can get my superheat down to. I'm gonna give it a little refrigerant. I got a 35.6. Super heat. I'm gonna change out this contactor. Swap out the capacitor. I didn't check the capacitance, but while I'm here, um, I'm gonna go over with the with the homeowner. Clean this coil for them. It's a disaster. This thing. I'm gonna try to get them cooling. It's a 410, like I said. I'm gonna dial my superheat into about 10. I'm starting to feel some heat moving. Nice. Sorry, this is a 2010. I'm so used to carrier. Which is the second two numbers on this one. I think it's ICP, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, International Comfort Products. It's 2010. I, it looks, trust me, it looks like 2010. I couldn't believe it was a 19. So it's 2010, my fault. Just wanted to tell you that. Um, my superheat's at seven degrees, which is I'm done charging it. I have 145 on my low, 263 on my high. I'm gonna clean the coil for head pressure. I checked the filter upstairs, and I'm gonna change out that contactor. And we'll get you some pictures after it's done. Zero select, 125 Fahrenheit, 200. Uh, we're gonna put it to to a heat pump, which is number two. 205, we're gonna put it for number seven, which is air-to-air -air heat pump. 218, we're gonna energize um, the reversing valve. O energizes the reversing valve in cooling. Uh, 220 is one stage of cooling. 221, we have one stage of heating with one stage of backup. Then jumps to 300, system changeover is manual. 340, zero for comfort. 365, three cycles, 375, nine cycles for the winter. Um, I'm gonna put it on two minutes for the compressor protection. I should really be putting it on five. I'm gonna make their minimum set point like 60. I don't like it down at 50. Maximum 85, select. 435, keypad lockout none. 702 is number of air filters. I keep it at zero so it doesn't give you the alert. 14.10, we're gonna do 12 hour clock format. 14.15, daylight saving time on, 14.20. And then select is done and save. So now that's programmed. And then you just find this on page nine and 10 in your operator's manual, in your installation manual. All right guys, look at that contactor. You can see it, then it was shot. It was pulling it when it wanted to. Um, I swapped it out. So I got the new contactor in there. Just gonna show you a picture of it. Then I'll go up and hit that thermostat. Like I said, I have it jumped out right now. There's the new contactor. Um, 
the customer doesn't want to check the change the capacitor because it reads good to 30 slash 5 so we're going to leave that in clean the coil change the thermostat and then i think they're going to be up and going pretty well this is nice and cold so big uh change from when i got here that's for sure. washable so if you want take it out now I'll take it throw out it in the tub it. yeah, yeah. Because it's pretty dirty. All right, so this is what I have here. The RG, Y, and reversing bell jumped. And then we're going to shut that and swap out this thermostat from this. A lot better from that. There's literally no water pressure here. I'm going to try to clean this the best I can. But, um, and I don't hold my hand like this when I, you know, use, but I have to uh, hold this camera. So I'm going to try to clean the best I can. And then I just have to tell the homeowner that the water pressure is terrible. But I'm going to clean it just because I know they went through a disconnect and that contacted because he was saying something. I guess someone else who was here before me said that the disconnect was melted and probably has something to do with why the contact was all pitted out too. But, um, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I appreciate everything. Have a good night.